So, Abby, what would be your top two or three tips for uh, recreational anglers in terms of fluke fishing? Fluke fishing, definitely keep it natural looking. The more natural, the better. Uh, lighter ounces, uh, use bucktails. I like to use white and green bucktails, but change up the colors. If uh, you have multiple people, have someone try a different color and choose what works. So is the idea that uh, the fluke might be interested in chartreuse one day and the <laughs> next day it'll be interested in white? Is that sort of the thinking there? Absolutely. The, it could be different color uh, daylight. Um, it can be attracted to different colors in uh, times of day. The water could be cleaner that day. Dirty water you want to use you know, a little bit yep. brighter or darker rather. So mixing it up is pretty important. Uh, and then would you be tipping that with anything, any kind of uh, natural attractant or plastic? Yeah, so um, primarily squid strips, uh, get nice fresh squid, nothing freezer burn, uh, definitely spearing. You can try uh, the Peruvian smelt works as well if you're in deeper water, bigger bigger bait. And uh, lately I started getting into some artificials, so I use some gold as well, and that really attracts a bigger fish. Great. Um, any particular preference in terms of uh, tides, incoming, outgoing? Uh, it really kind of depends. Um, I like to talk to what, you know people who are out there um, and see, talk to when I go and get my bait. I like to talk to people in the bait shops, uh -huh. see when really they're catching fish. Um, I've always found outcoming tide is always good, but um, you know what? Fish are fickle. They're sure you can catch them anytime, really. Well, Abby, thank you very much. You're very welcome.